so uh, it's a continuation of the first video we are going to uh, do this one so i, I completed uh, doing this picking uh, program so so i'm going to the home position so i'm going to uh, pick this object i'm going to place in this position uh, so for that uh, uh, you can uh, i make this uh, part two uh, so before that you can uh, come to this position okay so first it is going to so, so no i need to keep this part one as the reference frame active reference frame so i'm going to come to this position then i'm going to pick it and i'm going to attach it then i'm going to uh, uh, make it uh, pick to, uh, i'm going to drag it upwards okay now you click this uh, power two as uh, uh, power two right click this one power two right click this one and uh, click on this active reference frame so click this one and uh, you double click this uh, puka robot model and uh, it will come like this you make this uh, uh, y as uh, zero enter so now it is coming to this uh, second position the placing position it is uh, at, uh, at at some position at uh, on, the, on, the, on the table uh, the place on the position so now uh, uh, you can uh, uh, add a target here so i'm adding a target here so this is a target i'm renaming this one as uh, i'm renaming this target as uh, uh pick three okay and uh, again I'm, I'm changing this value to uh, 50 z position as 50 and uh, it will come like this okay it will uh, uh, it will uh, it will uh, fix on it will place it on the table so i'm going to make this another target so i add another target uh, i rename this one as uh, uh, p4 so p3 it will come here and p4 it will uh, place it on the table okay so this is another question so now for this you can create one program okay so i'm closing this i'm going to add a program here so add program okay so you can rename this program so function is to rename this one as place okay so at this program what you need to do is you have to come to this uh, position uh, three okay so for this i am going to give this move uh, joint uh, program so i'm clicking i'm going to click this one so you will get this move joint program and after this i'm going i, I need to go to position four okay so this is uh, uh, linear movement so i'm adding the linear movement program and uh, okay then uh, uh, i need to again uh, come at a position upwards so I'm going to P3 position, and for this I'm going to have a linear movement. Okay, so these uh, three instructions we have added. But uh, on coming to this uh, uh, this uh, position four, you need to detach the object. So right click this one, add instruction. Right click this uh, instruction, move L. Uh, that is we have given uh, for uh, moving to position four this instruction. Okay, so right click this one. Uh, add instruction in you and uh, simulation event instruction in you and you detach the object okay so detach object and here you uh, uh, select as uh, uh, attach to the parent part two and click ok okay so you can see here so this detached program is added to this uh, uh, movement uh, program that we have given for uh, linear movement to position four so here you run this it will come to position 3 then if you run this one it will come to position 4 then it will detach the object then again if you run this one it will uh, come uh, come to some upward position okay so that's all we have completed this uh, program now what we can do is uh, uh, we can uh, create a main program for uh, integrating both the speaking and placing so i'm giving uh, add a new program so it will add a program here so this one is a main program and renaming this one as main okay so for this main program so it should come to its uh, home position okay so i'm resetting restoring this one and i'm going to come to come to this home position okay so 
initially it should be in the home position so for this i am giving this move joint program okay so it should be in the initially it should be in home position then i am going to create a loop so you have here one icon here right so this one is a program called uh, or insert code instruction so on clicking this uh, you can insert an, another piece of uh, program so for this you can uh, you can uh, select uh, okay you can select program as uh, picking program and click ok okay then again you may make another program here so select another program place program click ok okay so uh, again click ok okay so picking and placing program is added to this main program and uh, uh, right click this main program and uh, click on uh, uh, add instruction then uh, set a reference frame instruction okay click on this one and uh, you have this set reference frame instruction so right click this one uh, okay so set reference frame link uh, you click on that and uh, uh, make this base frame as the reference frame okay then now uh, after this you need to go to the home position again okay after picking and placing you need to go to home position so click on home position and for this you, you have to add the uh, the joint movement so add joint movement it will go to its uh, uh, home position so initially it will come it will pick this object and it will uh, place this object here and it, it should go to this original position okay so that's all we have completed the program now uh, you can uh, uh, run this uh, program you can change you can vary the speed here okay you can vary the speed here and you can run the main program so i'm running this main program so initially it is coming here uh, picking the object and placing the object here okay so i'm uh, restoring to its original position so click on restore program okay i'm going to reduce the speed so you cannot you are not able to visualize if you are not able to visualize it uh, properly can uh, reduce the simulation speed okay and uh, again click on uh, main program so it is coming here Picking, uh, picking the object and it is placing here okay so if you want to use it so restore restore this now run the main program again so it is coming here picking the object coming to here placing the object and it is coming to the home position okay so that's all we have completed uh, the, uh, the simulation of uh, uh, the picking and place of an object using a cooker robot using this robot EK. Okay, thank you. Then uh, finally, you can also uh, save uh, this program. So you can uh, uh, give control S with the limited version. You can uh, save only one or two programs. So you can give uh, in file. You can uh, click on uh, save station uh, save station as and in your uh, uh, local directory you can save this uh, uh, program. So like this, you can uh, try variety of uh, uh, variety of uh, simulations using this robot DK, and uh, so that's all. Thank you.